Hi everybody, welcome, welcome to Healing with Marcus. I am Shaman Marcus and we're sitting here to discuss today harmonic forces across our globe. The harmonic forces in esoteric teachings are an impulse across our universe, yes? And this impulse is an impulse of fear, of lower frequency, lower vibration behaviors and feelings and thoughts. And if we look across our globe and our society, we can see that from the up top to the individual level, we are all in different forms in the grips of what they call harmonic forces. And this harmonic force is moving across our globe and it has, of course, infiltrated every, every layer, every level of our existence at the moment. The only people that seem to be free from it are the people who are living in touch with nature. The indigenous people, the native people, uh, they are the ones that are still in touch with original nature. The ones that still remember that we are the guardians of Earth Mother. That that is our original purpose, our original reason to be here is that we are here, we're giving this level of intelligence, this level of insight, this level of, of understanding, so that we can take care of being custodians of Earth Mother. And as the harmonic forces of control and fear have spread across our globe starting 2000 years ago or more, um, we can see that the impulse, it's a very good word, Sarah Akaldi uses it a lot, right? Uh, the alchemist, if you look her up, she amazing, amazing YouTube channel and, and healer. Um, if we look at the impulse of fear that comes across our globe, started at least 2,000 years ago, but usually more than that, but we, we're going to stay with that, right? We can see that the impulse from the Roman Empire moved into the Roman Catholic Church, moved into states, and the, the structure from the Roman Empire of an, an emperor and then all these layers of society underneath moved into the church with the Pope and the different cardinals and the different bishops and whatever else we have down to the priests, right? And then we can see that the, the states, the, the countries with the king and all the underlings under the king have the same structure of power. And then we move into government and we can see that what arose out of the royal houses, that what arose was a sense of what we thought we'd call democracy, which then became government and down, right? Now, of course, there are other entities above the government. We can see very clearly that there are many interests, very powerful, big interests that are running the government, yes? This is why we're living in a state of propaganda. We're living in a state of lies. And the harmonic impulses, when we come into an individual level, we can look at ourselves. And if you can honestly look at yourself, if you can honestly sit with your inner state, your inner space, you might begin to see that there are parts in your system. Either you can feel it very vividly or you can maybe feel it a little bit that there are parts in our system, there are feelings, a sense of discomfort, a huge sense of, mm, I need to get away from that feeling. When we want to avoid a certain feeling out of our system, in our system, we often become, well, we use distraction and we become obsessed with that distraction. And of course, that sense of discomfort is often based in a trauma, an unhealed, untreated trauma that is stuck in our system. But we can also see that it's also this fear that's being propagated in our society. We can also see that it's a sense of insecurity, unsafety. If I don't work hard enough, if I don't have enough money, if I don't have enough this or that, I'm going to lose. All of that, that is a fear-based system that we are living in. And if we, uh, just as a thought experiment, 
If you were able to imagine, envision yourself living in nature, and I'm not saying that we all have to go back that way, but we have to connect back to nature. So let's just use a thought experiment. We're going into nature. You're living in an area where there is plenty of game for you to hunt. There is plenty of, of food growing for you to eat. Your connection to original sense of Earth Mother and life is completely different than the structure that we are living in today, that the children are growing up in. Is it any wonder that they're trying to avoid reality with their screens, right? Is it any wonder that we're trying to avoid feeling those feelings of dread or, or basically oppression? There, on, on a certain level, there's a sense of oppression. So we distract ourselves with screens of different kinds. And if you move into your energy field, right, and into your feelings and into that sense of discomfort, that, that the feeling you want to run away from, that we have developed different forms of obsessions or addictions to escape. We can see that we, we are being stuck in this cycle. It's a cyclical system of like, oh, I feel discomfort, so I'm going to go and do whatever gives me release or relief. Yes? And that could be of sexual nature, of food nature, of addiction nature, as in alcohol or drugs. Um, but anything, or even people, right? Even surrounding ourselves with people because we aren't comfortable in our own skin. Even that becomes an obsession. Yes? to avoid our inner state. But as we move into our inner state, and we can hold space for the discomfort, we can breathe space into it, we take our deep breaths, we're bringing awareness and consciousness into that inner discomfort, we start to actually heal it. And we become aware that, oh, I don't have to avoid it. Oh, and our whole nervous system relaxes. As, it's, as we're integrating the different feelings of discomfort. It's a beautiful process of healing. Look it up, right? Trauma healing. It's beautiful. And of course, we, can, we do it with healers. We do it with shamans. I sit with my teacher, amazing person, right? Ombute Devi. Um, and, you know, we, we all have this inner space that we can create more space more space for. As we enter that inner space, we begin to find a sense of life force energy, a sense of power, that, that, that engine that drives our bodies, that keeps the cells dividing, that keeps your heart beating. That is an energy of life, an expression, an impulse of life through you, the energy of life spreading across our globe. That energy is, of course, the same in every tree, blade of grass, every tatanka, every buffalo, every, every rock, there's an energy of life and there's consciousness. Now, what the system of what we refer to as the matrix, which is based in harmonic fear-based forces across our globe, is trying to do is what they claim to try to create safety, right? But it's basically a system of full control. Full control of you and I. And as we then, the, the, the alluring fact that they hold up on one end, they're, they're holding up, hey, if you do all these things, if you, if you pay all these things in time, if you work hard to do all these things, then you get freedom. Then you get to travel to that beautiful island somewhere. Then, which is also, of course, getting away from the self. Yes, nothing beautiful, nothing wrong with going on, on vacation to a beautiful place. But it is that thing of escaping, getting away from how we're feeling. Yes. So coming back home into the heart, into your soul, into yourself, beginning to feel comfortable within. So of course the antidote to these, this pressure of the matrix, the harmonic impulse. 
And if you think about an impulse, it's, an impulse is like a wave, right? A ripple, right? So if I move my hand through the air, there are ripples. If I move it through water, like this, you can imagine, envision, seeing how the water moves once you have moved your hand. Energetically, there's an energy movement too, right? And this harmonic impulse across our globe, which used to be called, it's a, it's a tough word, and I, I personally had a hard time even saying it, right? But sat Satan, right? We can see that it's a dark force encroaching on our globe. That this energy where we are so disconnected from nature that we have given ourselves the permission to abuse and ravage and pillage both other people, but especially Earth Mother, the planet we live, in, live on, the home we have. And as that pressure from the matrix is heavier, it's harder for us to stay aware. It's harder for us to stay in contact with Earth Mother. If you look at many of the, uh, the, the places where people have less money, where they're struggling harder, it's easier to create more trash around you because you feel so bad inside that it's harder to connect to Earth Mother, right? But we look around anywhere we are, our modern day society is, of course, we're hiding our trash, we're just hiding it better. So what we learn is that there is a level of truth here. And that truth lives within you. There's a level of freedom when you find that truth, where you become a sovereign being. And as we start looking into, we can also see it on the larger scale, right? The global scale, where corporations and our leaders, our political leaders, are rarely, if ever, speaking even an ounce of truth. All that is going on is that they are seeking more influence, more power, more money which we think is security, right? And that is going on on the corporate level, going on on the government level. It's going on, it's trickling down through our whole society. And when you look at that impulse, if we look at that Im harmonic impulse, you can start to see that it's like a snake, right? If we, I, I love snakes, but this is, <laughs> we think of a large snake that is devouring its own tail, creating a downward spiral. And if you think about obsession or addiction, you can easily see that it's a downward spiral that is not really going anywhere. It keeps creating more and more trauma and more and more dark circles around you, dark imprint. And as we sink into that layer of obsession and addiction more and more, that becomes our normal state. So then we think that's just how life is. We think, oh, I got to go and get hammered on Friday and Saturday. That's just how life is. I got to go and, and do this or that because that's just how life is. I have to escape because life is hard. But if we look at life and the evolution of life, it's not hard at all. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's light. It's love. We have been indoctrinated to believe something else. So... When you look at the impulse of Araman, and you look at how it becomes a snake that's eating its own tail, and you look at the dishonesty going on from the top down in our society, or from the bottom up, either way, the, <laughs> the snake is eating its own tail. The snake is eating its own tail. We all have created a system that it's on a downward spiral. The way through this is that first of all, you and I find our way back home, back into heart, back into life force energy, beginning to heal our trauma, creating these ripple effects across our whole society as we begin to heal. And these ripple effects, they start to move upwards as well. So as we move through the world and we are healing ourselves, we also end up helping to heal the whole world. But it is about reconnecting to nature, your true nature, who we are, 
when we are in touch with original essence, with the innocence, that innocence that was never violated. Because in some ways we have all been violated in, in different ways. Some of us from early childhood and, and some of us later in life. But there is a big violation. In the last few years, the inoculations that happened four or five years ago, of course, huge, or three, four years ago, huge violation of human integrity, of your own physical integrity as an as a individual, as a sovereign being. And um, as we then begin to recognize that, oh, this system is unhealthy. The system is in the grips of something dark, something negative, something that's devouring its own tail. An energy force across our globe that is corrupt, that has corrupted itself. And sure, we can talk about the forces that are behind that. But at first, we have to look at how do we break out of this? How do we create a system of more healing? That's creating, so as you start to heal, right, your heart opens up, you're, you're, you feel better in your body, you can breathe deeper into your system, and you become more whole. You are now starting to create upward building spirals in your life. The trajectory of your life starts to change as we take healthier actions based in healthier feelings. And as that happens then, right, we start to move into a higher sphere. And it becomes easier for you to listen to your heart, it becomes easier for you to listen to what your body wants, what it says, where we can determine and discern, use our discernment, is this a healthy action or an unhealthy action? Is this a positive move in my life or not a positive move? And as we're learning how to do that more and more, and we're sitting in touch with our deeper nature, these upward spirals keep going. As you and I keep waking up, at some point, the rest of the world, even, even, even society as a whole, will be following this new impulse. This is an impulse of light and love. This is an impulse of freedom. This is an impulse of sovereignty. This is an impulse of mutual agreements. Not one where one party says, you have to do this. But that we, they can say, maybe they say, would you like to do this? And we have a freedom to say yes or no. Because you are then in your power. Right? So, the harmonic forces, which could be also named as satanic forces, have absolutely grabbed a big hold of our world. And we can just see it. See it. Look at the examples that's going on in our world. Look at the bombings that are going on in our world that are being supported. Look at the dishonesty. Look at the dishonesty that when it happens in one part of the world, it's terrible. But when the same thing or worse happens in another part of the world, we're not going to even speak about it. That's dishonesty. We are lying. On a government level, we are lying. And that is a huge part of these dark forces that are absolutely doing everything they can to take over our world. And the way out is through the heart, through the light of your heart. So, we're going to keep talking about this subject for a bit. I'm grateful you are here. Uh, this is, we just passed the solar eclipse, which energetically was a huge reset and a start of something new. And of course, you and I are a part of that new. If you are staying aware and staying conscious of what's going on within you, you begin to feel a new sense of energy. Oh my God, I feel a little more empowered to make healthier choices for myself in my life and for everyone else as well. So thank you very much for watching this. I am grateful that we get to share this journey. I'm grateful you're here and I am looking forward to the next time we get to interact. Please like and subscribe if this spoke to you. And have a beautiful, beautiful day. Namaste. And I hope.